this covenant is very important because uh, Padre Pio lived there mm -hmm. during 50 years. 50 years. 50 wow. years, yes. Um, and so I believe, Francois, we can actually see uh, St. Padre Pio's room from here. Right, it's yes, the one with you the, can, you, the cross. You can see, yes, um, on the top of the cross. And, yeah. Um, it's uh, really interesting for the story because, um, you know, the, uh, the, some uh, people come to see Padre Pio, yeah. but just in front of the wall of the, mm -hmm. of the convent, <laughs> and uh, they ask him, uh, Padre Pio, Padre Pio, and mm -hmm. Padre Pio just opened the, the window uh -huh. and uh, sent the benediction to the, uh, <laughs> to the people there. I, I read a story that, that Padre Pio, so he would work all day, he would be in the confessional constantly, and yeah. that he said, he wrote to his spiritual uh, uh, director, I'm working 17 hour days, and when he would come home, he would then be writing correspondence. And so sorry, we don't know exactly when Padre Pio uh, takes some uh, hours for sleeping. Yes. Because something interesting also, that's in the room number one. Yes. We can see the, sorry, I don't know exactly the name for that, the mm -hmm. clock, where do you... La pendule, the clock. La, the, 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 the yeah. clock for the, the, the remote for, for, <laughs> for the right time. Yes. And we can see the, the and uh, something strange, that's what I feel, at just two. Uh, just not it's just two, two. Yeah, it's the two clocks like this on the yes. on the table near the bed, mm -hmm. and you know the the, the time schedule. Yeah, <laughs> what was the time schedule? Two and a half. Two, so you'd wake up at two thirty. At two thirty. Wow, and yes. when, when? and just to prepare the mess. Wow. And I don't know when it can take time really to sleep. And another thing uh, very interesting is, um, you know, um, somebody asked him. Yes. Um, uh, how uh, please, Padre, how many rosary yes. are you doing per day? How many rosaries are you And he say something, I'm not sure completely for uh, the, the numbers, but something like 32 or 34 rosary per day. Wow. And I asked the, um, mm -hmm. the, 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 the chief of this command yeah, yeah. how to make that, because yeah. how to do that. 32 rosaries, is, yeah. But, and he told me that you have to think about something, Padre Pio, pray all the day. Constantly. Constantly. Now, That's what I feel. And, and I wonder what does that do to your soul to be in constant conversation, in constant contact and dialogue with God? To be to be doing you know, that many rosaries a day, you're in constant contact with, with Our Lady as well. I mean, it's... Yeah, because something is really special with Padre Pio. Because the story is that Padre Pio had the possibility to see the, La Madonna, Our Lady, Mar yes. the Delhi, uh, the the priest yes Jesus. and the the um, how l'ange gardien and yes guardian angel yeah, yeah. yes science as a he young boy five five years five years old wow. five years old and so to think of someone who has you could say almost saintly quality as such a young boy it's interesting to think about someone who who was almost in a way born you know in that type of contact whereas i mean for me at least i know that with time passing i've grown into my spiritual life I, I, mm -hmm. at five years old i was not in conversation Yes, we are not in the same level. <laughs> not something for me, <laughs> no, but uh, we're getting Padre Pio, I think we are not in the same level. No, no. But something is important that uh, Padre Pio was really, really um, an, um, a person, mm -hmm. very human, mm -hmm. with a very strong humanity mm -hmm. and very close to everybody. That's why everybody can come to him mm -hmm. and he, not absolve, but give some words, just some words to help mm -hmm. the rest of the, the, the life of the people. And you feel that all throughout San Giovanni Rotondo, this feeling of, of humanity, of community, of uh, where the spiritual is not separate from the, uh, from the everyday. There's, there's not compartmentalized, but everything is together, you know, centered around the church, which I think is so beautiful. Um, so actually, um, uh, Francois, so we're getting pretty close to the... Yes, it's right yeah, here, actually. Here on, the, on the top, you can see the, the, the room number five. With the cross, yes. Yeah. And so, also, we see a lot of friars that are coming in and, and people getting ready for the activities tonight. Um, yeah. What type of emotions are going through you right now, thinking about uh, this you know, anniversary you know, midnight mass that we'll all be celebrating? Oh, that's a complicated question. <laughs> complicated question, because I, I have to, uh, to, to tell you some, somewhere a confidence. Mm -hmm. Because uh, as soon as I come here, um, so um, that's something very, very hard in my 
uh, mm -hmm. because that's something like uh, when you have to meet your family and you yes. take some time to travel to your family and mm -hmm. meet your family and okay that's something like this for me yes yeah and so i invite emotions. and i invite everybody to come in san giovanni rotondo because also today you can meet really a peop uh, uh, somebody with mm -hmm. Padre Pio, you, you can meet somebody who can help for the life. Mm 